Welcome to Inspire and Lead with Preeta. So today's video is our education and strategy segment. So the purpose of this video is only for entertainment and information. So let's get straight to the video. Oftentimes we see parents taking a lot of trouble to uh, teach their children on core school subjects. However, an area that's often totally neglected and perhaps not even discussed is on the importance of money management. Today's video is all about instilling responsible money management behaviors and intelligence in your child at a very early stage. Fundamentally, money management can be easily taught to children in three simple strategies. They are known as the S strategies. So let's start with the first S, which is the save strategy. Before the time of credit cards, a common scenario in every household was that children had small piggy banks or glass jars with them where they would collect coins around the house. Piggy bank was considered as the first step that children could relate to the idea of saving and control of money. Children could earn money in various ways. They can be either rewarded for a good behavior or they can do small chores at the home and they get paid by completing the work. It makes them to re-examine that acquiring money and wealth through hard work and an ethical manner too. By introducing uh, the concept of earning money through hard work or by doing small chores, children relate that money is not free. And it also makes them to understand that there's always money have to be acquired through legitimate ways. As well as save the money, it teaches the children the concept of patience as well as the pain to earn a desired amount of money in their piggy bank. The second strategy is the spend strategy. Each stage, children have their own needs and wants. So needs are the basic necessities that a child must have. However, wants are a little bit more uh, luxurious than a need. So it's all the frills and other commodities which makes them kind of unique in their own way, which they can do without, uh, without acquiring that object, but they still need it. So you know, parents have to keep in mind that no matter how rich you are, how easily you can afford to buy these objects, um, the child needs to know the difference between a need and a want. So the concept of needs and wants must be introduced. It's very common for children to oscillate between a need and want, but talk to them. Talk that they can prioritize something and delay the purchase of a want so that they're not hastily running to spend their money on certain commodities, which they do not require at that time. Another concept of spend is to educate them on budgets and how to search or shop around for affordable items. So you have a set budget that uh, you have kept aside to purchase something, but talk to them about shopping around so that they're not running to the first store or the first online link that they see to purchase these items. So it creates them a sense of wise consumption, wise to be an educated and a wise consumer as well. Remember, every coin, every note matters in spending and saving. The third S strategy is the share strategy. So we've all heard sharing is caring. You have to encourage your child to set aside a portion of their own money to donate to a noble cause. It could be either a community need or something that their own classmates require. Sharing a set amount of money from their own piggy bank teaches them the concept of social responsibility. They also have to be taught that they cannot share all that they have to everyone in this world, but they definitely can make a difference to share with what they have with someone, one person at least in their life. So this definitely brings about uh, children to be more humane and less 
to think about themselves but a more an outlook of to be less greedy and selfish it teaches them the value of being human being and to be empathetic and compassionate to others which is also very important because it's not all about how you spend money on yourself you also have to teach them why it is important to take care of your fellow neighbor or a fellow another fellow human being because that's what makes us a social human being to summarize money management is actually a tool and this tool can be understood in three simple strategies which is save spend and share so i hope each of you have enjoyed uh, this video and you do take a time to introduce the concept of healthy money management in your child early on this relationship between your child and money is very important because oftentimes if not properly understood the child as they grow up could have a negative impact or some setbacks or failures of not handling finances adequately so this can cause a lot of problem later on in life so it's much advised to teach the concept of financial intelligence at a very early stage with this note, we come to an end of today's education and strategy segment. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And then what else? Do subscribe to my channel if you've liked this video and do share to other uh, parents and children so that they, you are educating them as well. And do continue to subscribe and support. And I'll see you in my next video with another interesting topic. Until then, take care.